welcome to MetaMask. Uh, today I'd like to show you a little bit of what I've been working on. MetaMask is a hosted Ethereum browser and identity management tool. Okay, let's start with the basics. Uh, let me unlock my identities here. This is the interface for your identity management. Uh, you can very easily create new identities. Uh, you can import some identities, for example, from the initial crowd sale. Here I've imported a test identity. You can see it has a very large balance of ether. This is currently running on a private test chain as we get ready to move to the main net. Uh, I should mention at this point that uh, identities are stored in your browser. We don't keep a copy of your secrets on our servers. Uh, your private keys never leave your machine. Uh, MetaMask also offers a list of popular dApps. Right now we just have one example one. Uh, this is DAO Fund. It is a very simple crowdfunding example dApp. So this is hosted here on the, you know, on live on the internet, but it needs access to the blockchain. So when you open it inside of MetaMask, uh, it can it can query information about the state of the contract and and help you display what's going on here. Uh, here we have a couple of contracts. I'm partial to the Bike Repair Club. Uh, when I press the fund button, I'm going to get a suggestion for a transaction to make. Uh, I can choose which identity I want to send it from. Uh, it shows how much money it's going to be, where it's going. There's also some data involved. Let me remind you that this is alpha software and it's all visually subject to change. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, confirm this transaction. The transaction will be signed by the private key in the browser and then sent off to the network. And then you'll see the state update. There it is, 2% uh, funding progress. You'll see the number of backers increased. Um, and anyone else also looking at this dApp at the same time will see a live update because the dApp is able to subscribe to the state of the blockchain through the standard Web3 library. So that's just a little bit of what I've been working on. Uh, thanks for taking a look.